Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be having a very close look at the FL Sporter 303. I think I only got two. All right, so that was a double lung shot from 177 meters. And the penetration is pretty killer, pretty amazing. And it looks like we did take two down and that one was just a single lung because of, because of the angle there. Now, unfortunately, you cannot use them on feral goats okay guys so we are here in the store and we are going to have a look at the 303 so here it is here fl sporter 303 this is the burnish so the accuracy for the 303 is 55 49 for re reload speed recoil is 64 and hip shot is 67. if you're not in a hurry if you do own T hour row, you can just do the missions and not pay the $40,000 and get the 303. Still gotta pay for ammo, but that's a pretty good deal. All right, so here we are. This is the 303 polymer tip ammo. Ignore the effective range. It is not working right now, so it's effective range. I believe, I think the effective range is 200 meters, but I'm having a brain fart right now, so I'm not, I don't remember exactly, I'm sorry. But the rest of the stats are correct. So expansion is 12 for the polymers, penetration is 40, and this gun is good for classes four to eight. Now, when we look at the soft points, we're gonna try both of them out. We're gonna test them both. So it, it will have these same effective range, which I believe is up to 200 meters. And then the soft points have an expansion of 53, penetration of only 20, compared to 40, so that's quite a big difference. And again, good for classes four to eight. Now, when you're using the 303, I just use the Argus and the Hyperion, which are both part of my permanent inventory. So you don't have to spend any extra money on those if you already own them. So let's go hunt. Let's go try out the 303. Alrighty guys, so I thought we would start here in New Zealand since the 303 comes with the New Zealand T Awaroa. DLC. I thought that would be fitting. So we have a max estimate fallow. Now we have to keep in mind with the render bug right now, we don't want to be taking shots from too, too far, but we're going to take this shot. We're going to take our first shot from just under 300 meters, 265. Perfect. He is going down. I love the sound of the 303. It makes an incredible sound. I do enjoy that. You know, something as minute as sound is really important to us players. You know, it is important that you enjoy the sound of the gun that you're using. And the 303 sounds awesome. Completely amazing. Now we do have quite Quite a few four to eight class weapons, but I guess we made room for one more. Let's see how good this 303 is gonna do. All right, here he is. All right, so we got a left long shot from 267.3 meters with the 303. It did not push through and puncture the second lung, but you know, from almost 300 meters, that's pretty decent penetration. Most things don't penetrate even that much. And we did have a slight angle. Pretty nice shot though. So we are gonna start with the polymer tips and we are also going to try out the soft points. I definitely want to see the difference, but so far so good. So if you are gonna take the 303 out here in New Zealand, just keep in mind that you cannot use it for everything. The feral goats and the chamois 
are both class three, so you're not gonna be able to use the 303. You are gonna be stuck. Ooh, what's that? That's a, a decent one. We got a three and a four here, all right. So yeah, you're gonna have to take out the 243 or the 223 or the air rifle or the Solikin. You cannot use the 303 on those class three animals, but everything else except for turkeys on the map, you can hunt with the 303. And this guy has no clue, so why don't we take him as well? He is about 230 out. Ooh, he is down as well. So far, so good. I hope that was not a spine shot. I don't think so, because I was zeroed for 150. That should have pulled my shot down. Ah, this guy is nice. That was a pretty nice shot. Left lung, stomach, and liver. 134 meters with the 303. And uh, that did great. This guy's a 199.4. Perfect. All right, so that was a double lung. So we're a little bit closer this time. 228 meters. And we did get enough penetration to get both lungs. So that was... Pretty awesome. Okay guys, so we actually just moved over here. This is an awesome lake for red deer and for Sika. And we have a level three Sika here. And Sika are class four. Sika really aren't that big. They're, they're fairly small. And that was a hard shot. That was a pretty sweet shot. So far, I am loving the 303. Oh my goodness. Seems very powerful. All right, we have a three wandering over here. Let's see if we can't sneak one into him. Ooh, that was pretty sweet. Jeez. Let's go see what uh, what shot we got. Oh, I love these. Spotted are so beautiful. And that was a double lung, double lung from 270 meters. So the penetration on the 303 from 300 meters almost is pretty incredible. Most four to eight weapons, most four to eight rifles will give you a single lung from 300 meters, but the 303 had no problem penetrating and getting both lungs, so. And that is, again, with the polymer tips. So, pretty amazing. And I guess a double lung does drop them, then. Well, this guy just dropped. And that was a right lung liver stomach shot from 272 meters. What a perfect shot. What a perfect fleeing shot, man. Nice. Well, I'm impressed. I am impressed. So far, the 303 is pretty amazing. I don't know. I just love the way it feels. I I love the way it feels in my hands. I, I'm really enjoying it. And I guess a double lung does drop them then. You know what? I think we should go to Hirschfelden. I think we need to go to the firing range. To really get comfortable, let's do that. Okay guys, so we're here in Hirschfelden and there is a firing range in the bottom corner and you can fast travel there. As long as it is discovered first. All right, here we are. So at this firing range, you can target practice from distances between 50 and 500 meters. So let's start with 200. All right. So we're going to zero for 150. All right, let's see. I aimed a little bit high, but I didn't, you know what? Let's start with 150. Okay, so we are zeroed for 150 and we are this is 150 meters, so let's see how accurate the 303 is. Here we go. Oh, 
almost perfect, almost. Just a hair high, I think. Let's see. Just a hair high. I would say it is pretty darn accurate. Let's do one more. Bullseye. All right. So let's do 200. Okay, so when you're taking a shot from 200 meters, I am zeroed for 150, which is going to pull my shot down just a little bit. So let's see. Perfect. So I just aimed a hair higher and... It's almost negligible, the difference, really, that 50 meters makes. Not much of a difference. All right, let's try 300 meters. Okay, zeroed for 300. Pretty accurate. And that's a bullseye. Bullseye! There we go. Perfect. All right, we're going to take one more shot. This time we're going to do it from 500. All right, from 500 meters, well, in reality, you can't even see unless you're on an angle 500 meters because you're going to be out of render. <laughs> I can't see the target laying prone. All right. I have never practiced from 500. I didn't even hit. The board? Okay, look at the drop on that. Okay. The dot is not too bad, actually. So from 500 meters, if I aim at one dot below, let's see how we do with that. Just about, just about. I'd say that is pretty close to perfect. Bullseye! We did it. All right. <laughs> it's always smart to come here and have a little bit of fun and practice with any new weapon. Get nice and comfortable with it. Take lots of shots from all different distances and uh, you're just gonna do a better job using that weapon when you do practice with it first. So I do highly recommend that you do come to either the Parquet or the Hirschfelden firing ranges with any new weapon. And that's where you'll find it. Okay guys, so I actually changed the time to the evening drink time for Red Deer, which is 1800 to 21 or 2130, and we have them out here drinking already. Now I have a really nice level seven max estimate here He's nice. All right, let's go for a hard shot here. And he is down. Very curious to see how much penetration we get with that shot. Now I know we have another really nice seven in here, not quite as big. If I can find him, that's him there. And we did definitely get a vital with both the red deer. So yeah, I am enjoying the 303. It just feels amazing. All right, here is our first red deer. And there we go. So that was a double lung heart from 169 meters and the penetration, it went right through and out the other side of the heart. This is an OP gun, guys. This gun is powerful. It is strong. So I would like to test some follow-up shots. We need to find a herd and try and take two down. Let's see how fast I can line the 303 up. Is this a gun that might be okay for farming whitetail or, or anything with? That's what I'd like to test next. But yeah, that is <laughs> pretty impressive. 
And again, we did get a double lung and that is from 230 meters. So yeah, the penetration is pretty amazing. So I think we're gonna need to test the soft points next, but the polymers are awesome. Completely awesome. And this is where we found these red deer. This is an awesome spot for red deer. I actually shot a diamond right out of this zone. Okay guys, look, look what we have at this lake. We have a 9 legendary mountain lion and a level 7 right over here. So, I want to test out these soft points. So, I am going to do something crazy and I am going to shoot the 9 with the soft points and I am going to shoot the 7, as long as I can still see them over here with the polymers and we are going to compare them. I think that would be a pretty cool test. You know what? I don't want to get too close because if I do, I might not be able to see this guy. So there we go. Was that a blank? Seemed like a blank, that's bad. And now I think he's behind the tree. Are you kidding? No, oh, he wasn't, awesome, perfect. And he's down, okay. We are going to now swap out our ammo. There he is. Okay. So I have swapped to the polymers. And he is down. All right. All right. So... These are the polymers. We already know they get amazing penetration. We have a slight angle and just about coming out the other side. So now I'll be very curious to see what kind of penetration these soft points get. It's not gonna be the same for sure. All right, well, there he lies. He is a troll. <laughs> oh well. That's alright. We have enough mountain lions. 38.8. He is 0.2 off of diamond. Now, let's look at this shot. So we definitely have quite a bit less penetration, although that is still sufficient. Still sufficient for at least mountain lions. You're gonna get a single lung at 233 meters. And I'm pretty sure with the polymers you'd get a double lung from the same distance, so. Interesting. Okay guys, so we actually found a diamond potential fallow deer. I don't really think it's a diamond. I think, I think he's probably gonna score pretty close to the bottom, but I thought this would, might be a good chance for us to test follow-up shots. Now, if I didn't mention it before, the 303 zeroes in at 75, 150 and 300 meters and it carries five shots so let's see how how well we do with a follow-up shot here we go now keep in mind guys i am on a console controller smoke dub yeah, I would say that was just as good as the M1. I don't think I got that guy on the fly, but I tried. That's all you can do, right? So yeah, overall, love, love, love the 303. Super overpowered gun. Penetration is absolutely amazing. Carries five shots with the polymer tips. The penetration is just crazy. And, uh... I really think this gun is 
every bit as good as the M1, and that is saying a lot. So, I think the... I honestly think the price of the DLC for New Zealand is worth it, if for nothing else but just for the 303. I think it's a great map, it's a fun map, but it is worth the money just for the 303, so there you have it. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. Let's have a look at these real quick. Oh, what a beauty. 220.2. I knew he wasn't a diamond, but he is a very, very beautiful fellow. And another vital shot. That was also a double lung. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to join us for more, that would be amazing. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and we will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. He dead.